Oops. What's up everybody, welcome back to the studio. My name is Jim and in this video, I'm showing you how to make a simple plaster drop mold using only clay, plaster, and a potter's wheel. So if you're curious, get ready. Now the cool thing about making a plaster drop mold on the wheel is that you don't need any wood boards, you don't need any clamps, and it allows you to make a nice round uniform outside to your plaster mold. Typically with wood boards, you're left with a block, and if your form is round, then you have all of this wasted heavy plaster on the corners. So this saves plaster, and it makes your mold lighter, which is great. Let's get throwing. I have six pounds of clay. I think it's gonna be enough. I'm also throwing on top of the plastic bat so I can have a nice smooth top to my plaster mold. All right, so you can see that I have maybe, I don't know, two inches from the foot to the top of this dome that I made. So I'll fill the plaster all the way up to the top. Time to mix some plaster. Now I am using number one pottery plaster. Got myself a nice mask for the plaster dust. I'm outside. I don't have a vent inside, so it's healthier out here. I got a knife. This will be quick using the island method. I got about half a bucket of water, more than enough for the mold that I had downstairs. Now we wait for the plaster to soak down below the water level. Give it a minute, slake off the extra water, pour it off. I'll show you in the basement. Now you can use a spatula for this step. You can use a drill with an attachment, which I have, but for right now, I'm just gonna use my hand. It's a small enough batch, I'm okay with that. Try to get down to the bottom and flick up air bubbles if you can. You'd be surprised how many there are down there. I'm kind of breezing through this plaster mixing. If you want a more in-depth tutorial, check out my mixing plaster tutorial. I'll put it in the description below and I'll add a card up here for you. One trick that's not in the video, if you don't have that special isopropyl alcohol, you can kind of tap this against the ground. And that will usually bring some of the bubbles to the top. We are ready to go. When I pour this in, I want to be very careful and try not to make bubbles in there when I pour it. I'm going to pour it very slow against my hand to the inside wall so that hopefully no bubbles form on top of my bowl. I have a lot of plaster left over, so I'm going to pour it into one of my extra plastic molds I use for bats. Give the wheel a tap. Kind of level out the plaster, make it clean up a little bit easier later. And that's it. Let it dry for at least a half an hour, maybe an hour, depending on how warm the plaster is or how soft it is. We'll come back, we'll see how I did. It's a little warm right now, but I'm gonna pull this off the wheel, take some clay off, and see what we got. All right, let's see what we got. I'm using rubber tools so I don't damage the plaster. I should have cut this around when the wheel was spinning. You don't wanna reuse this clay if there's any plaster in it. Save it for some more molds if you want. There we go. Typically this would be more of a drop mold where you pour liquid slip into here or casting slip, but it's not too deep where I probably could press clay in here. I might try some Narakomi slabs in here. The last thing you wanna do is clean it up within the first day while it's still a little bit soft. 
scrape down these sharp edges, sponge it off, get all the clay out, then let this dry for about a week. Use a fan, put it outside, let it dry completely before you use it. Now this kind of mold is considered a drop mold, meaning you wouldn't really use it to lay clay inside. You would usually pour casting slip into the mold and then pour off the extra and take out your piece. That is how you make a plaster drop mold using just the wheel, clay, and some plaster. That's everything. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you haven't already, subscribe for some future content. I'm Jim, and I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care.